anniversary, I suppose. And well, it's kind of been coming, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think we've showed a, a general progression. I think we should have beat Fowl. I think we should have beat uh, Gainsborough on Saturday. So yeah, it's been coming, and um, you know the the buzzing in there, you know the young boys, and yeah, it's been really pleasing to see them tonight. I thought they worked so hard, and I thought we passed the ball so well, um, and the great result. Uh, Eric Sue's turned the game apparently on Saturday. I wasn't there, but apparently he did very well when he came on. And, and today, another substitution. Uh, Eric came on, got his own chant, and uh, Ryan scored with his first touch. Yeah, I mean, it's great for the young lads. I mean, Eric, what a start Eric had. I just had a go at a bollock to him in there. I said, when we bring you on, you've got a better start than that. So it's no point running 80 yards and beating four players. <laughs> so yeah, it was, it was terrific. Ryan's come on, done brilliant. So we're really pleased with all of them. And we're not expecting the greatest escape of all time. But I'll tell you what, like you say, everyone's buzzing in there. And you just never know. Well, you know, like I say, it's, it's all I've said for a while. And I mean, you know, we're not stupid. It, our situation is virtually possible. But... You know, we're already building for next year and I think the fact that we moved so many players on early doors, you know, I wondered whether the transition was too quick, but it's give opportunities to the young boys and you know, they've took it, you've got to say they've took it and and all of you know, a lot of them are saying, Look, never mind looking at other players, I'm here for you. So yeah, we are looking towards next season. We're looking forward to guys on Saturday, we'll try and we'll try and beat them and we'll try and beat the next team and who knows. Well, initially that transition probably was a bit too quick, weren't really. it? But you look at it now. I mean, there's only three players left from uh, the Staley Bridge game on. I'll get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, you, you've had a big clear out. But mm. now everyone's pulling together, and it's gelling right. Yeah, the, it's the it's the energy of and the enthusiasm of the young boys, and you know when they get a bit of success. I mean, they had a bit of success Saturday. We should have won that. And filed, they had a bit of success. So. They're slowly, I think, believing in what we say. I mean, we can attack it. Well, first of all, I think they were frightened to death of me to be honest, Burke. And I think they believe in us so much now that we can tell them anything and they believe us. You know, if I told them it was Christmas on Thursday, they'd all go buy a turkey. <laughs> you know what I mean? So they've got great faith in us. They're working so hard and they're getting the just rewards now. And you look at Solly Hall's team tonight, most of them mid 20s. I mean, Darren Byfield, 38, more than twice the age of more than half of Hyde's team. Uh, it's such a young side out there, I think someone's saying that the average age is something like 19. You know, the average it's is incredible. 19. Well, we've got six still going through puberty, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's how young they are, mate. <laughs> That's how young they are. <laughs> on that bombshell, I don't think we can sat that one, Gav. So, go on, <laughs> go on enjoy your glass of wine. All right. And uh, I'll see you in the clubhouse tonight. Cheers, Gav.